Hi, my name is Russell Grimm and I'm a second year bioengineering student from the University of Sheffield. I was born in Africa and on subsequent visits have witnessed the need for practical and cheap solutions to missing limbs first hand. I have observed their leg amputation and have sat in on consultations with patients from townships where gangrenous legs have been booked to be removed. I use the forks, the brake cables and the brake calipers from a bike. It works like this. The cables run behind the back of the head to the opposite shoulder where it's fastened with a belt. Use extensions of the back muscles to create tensions in the cables which causes the pincer to close. Problems it solves. If the people already have a bike to take apart, the solution is free, otherwise they are very cheap. Spare parts are readily available for maintenance and very little technical knowledge is needed to build it. Has it been done before? No. Well, at least not that I know of. However, there are currently a few similar projects in existence. A prosthetic leg, finger and wheelchair have all been made from bike parts in the past. Is this the finished product? No, and not by any means, and this is a very important point and the one that I hope you take away from this presentation. A grand total of two hours have been spent on my own in my kitchen designing this prosthetic. I am by no means a guru with bikes and have very little mechanical engineering experience. With this in mind, imagine what can be created if we can get a hundred groups, maybe more, of highly innovative mechanical engineers working on this. The potential for this idea is massive. Some initial ideas for development. I plan to incorporate more degrees of freedom into the arm, so an elbow or wrist movement. Potentially a five-fingered dexterous hand grasp using five brake calipers instead of one. I plan to look into making it size adjustable for people of different sizes by using different size bikes and finally look into testing. Things like comfort level with long term usage, acceptance of aesthetic appeal and practicality of use in manual labour environments. Future vision. I would hope to one day link up internationally with many engineers around the world. Create an open source project and develop a range of solutions, prosthetic arms, fingers, legs, wheelchairs and more. I then plan to raise money through sponsorships, crowdfunding and one day advertise at the Paralympic Games, why not? Finally, I'll develop a Lego-like instruction pack when accompanying one to two week training program. We will find entrepreneurs in these communities and teach them how to make the prostheses, build a business and get the product to the end user. My product is simple, easy to make and from readily available materials. It is innovative, cheap and durable and hopefully, with your help, we can bring this product to the people who need it most. Let's change this world together.